All right, let's go ahead and button this up today. Uh, I need to go through and and get all of these wrapped wire things down on on the posts and maybe solder them. I need to get these resistors soldered up. I need to re-solder all of these stakes with the appropriate wattage soldering iron. It, remember, this was just temporary to test it. I also went to my local electronics store and um, picked up capacitors and look at what look at what I found digging around in there say uh, 0 0.0015 10 percent a thousand volts now I'm gonna do some experimenting I don't think I'm gonna initially slap one of those in there I wanna try this disc and see how it actually performs um, there were comments that that's not real critical. Well, it, the actual value might not be real critical, but if it drifts, it's going to shift the picture. So its stability is critical. Uh, and the rest of these are uh, for for the backside here to finish recapping the backside. And I got some fuses for another project. So uh, let's get going. All right, here are the capacitors from the bottom of the chassis. And some of these were actually branded Philco. That one was, this one is. Uh, that's outside foil. I checked all of them. One of these was bad, a little bit leaky and out of tolerance, but the rest of them were good and it's just been completely recapped except the electrolytics oh, here's another one here the electrolytics are fine and I've talked to a couple people that have the uh, the electro uh, are running all the stock electrolytics in there so yeah looks uh, looks like it'll be good like this this board is all soldered down uh, you can get these things back on if you tap them on with a screwdriver and a hammer and you just you very very gently tap them down I might have over soldered some of these stakes but you know what it's not going anywhere So, I think it's going to be good. There is a comment made about, well, you got, you know, a few hours and 20 or $30 worth of parts into it. Uh, hardly. Uh, of course, when you video something, it's, it's generally 10 times the amount of time uh, that you actually see in the footage. So... I probably got close to uh, oh, 10, 10 to 15 hours into this and by the time I test it, run test it, fine tune it, make sure it's ready to go back, make sure no other problems or thermal issues come up after we run it for a while, it's going to be a good 15 to 20 hours. It's just the video really shortens it down. Yeah, the parts are probably well these capacitors have really gone up in price so it's probably 75 bucks worth of parts maybe something like that um, these capacitors are going on two bucks a piece now for the good ones so yeah and then you got you know the tuner spray and all the other little things that you have to kind of charge for the solder and you know it's just uh, if it was if it was mine if it was a hobby it would be a little bit different I want to be there, but I can't be. 
some vertical issue here it's six o'clock you've been sitting here for four hours I got the the vertical no, that's the vertical to. turned all the way to one side Thanks. and I mean it'll sink there but not really I did it for you. A lot of good that did. What's that supposed to mean? You keep on telling me that I need to figure out who I am, but you can't even see past the log in your own eye. Log in my... I'm gonna try and change that capacitor. What are those jowls? Look like a basset hound. They're from worrying about you. Oh, what reason do you ah, have to crap. You leave yourself totally over the chair. You sound like... Well, this is interesting. I I installed the point 0015. I removed the disc and I installed the point 0015 and it was pretty much the same as the disc. And then I put both of them in there and now the vertical lock is rock soft in. This might be a microphonic tube because when I tap on the vertical well, it's not doing it now this is one of those difficult This is one of those difficult uh, problems. really isn't that bad. God, this is such a cheesy video. I have no idea what I'm even looking at, but it's horrible. were unbearable. It's not something I would wish on my worst enemy. It's a story Joel Grover has been uncovering for years. We thought maybe it was a stomach bug going around our office. Food poisoning outbreaks with no warning from the health department. But this latest scare is different. People saying that they had gotten sick, that they had gone to the hospital, the light bulb went off then. How the NBC 4i team was tipped off and where you can find your restaurant's dirty secrets before dining out. I wouldn't have all right, so I got the ability now to get this chassis in and out of this set in uh, about 30 seconds. And you can see where I had these two paralleled and it worked right, but it was still jumpy. And looking at the schematic, this couplet right here, it's got four items in it. Um, one of them or actually one side of this capacitor connects to the plate of this which is the basically the output and then it goes through this capacitor and then it goes to here and there's a capacitor uh, another 0015 from basically this point to ground and then a resistor back to the grid and then there's another capacitor and resistor that connect to the grid of this we got to change this thing. I got to rebuild this because there's a good chance that this thing is um, defective. Well, it looks like it's even got a layout of what's, what's inside of it there. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, it's cut off on this end. Because yeah, it's got more parts over here on this end. And I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. It doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Well, uh, maybe. Maybe if I could get to pin 4. If I could whack it out of there and get to pin 4, I might be able to do it. Here's what I'm going to try and do. I, I've, I've got all these wires worked up as loose as I can. I'm going to pull the stakes loose and try and rock this thing up and see if I can get enough clearance to get under here with my soldering iron. Uh, if I do this gently, I might get it. I have to change my tip broke here, so I got uh, another one here. This is always kind of cool. I have some disc capacitors here. I need to find a point 0.0015 and a point 0.0022. In this thing we're supposed to have a 33K and a 150K. One of them's measuring 36K, the other one's measuring 177K. I did manage to get it out from the bottom. I found a bunch of disc capacitors here. Uh, I'm gonna take a break for the night and we'll see what I decide to do, how I decide to change this thing. Back from the electronics store, this thing has four parts in it. It has a 150K, a 33K, a 1500 picofarad, and a 2200 picofarad. So I got some 2200s, some 1500s, some 150s, and some 33Ks. I didn't, I just was grabbing stuff. So I've got this thing in my head, how this goes, basically one, one lead of this connects over to here, this is ground, this connects to the grid of the tube, and this connects to here. So from here to ground, we got a 1500 picofarad, and now let me just put it together. I think I did this right. So, this goes to the uh, 0015 capacitor from the plate. This is ground. This goes to the grid of the tube. So we got 150K to ground. Remember, the center pin is ground. Paralleled with a 0 .0022 to ground. Then we have from the uh, plate, this is the feedback thing, from the plate we have a 33K that connects back to here, which is the grid, and we have a 0015 that goes from here to ground. So that should be correct. All right, there's the new couplet all installed. Let's give it a run. Well, good and not good. It works, but I can't stop it rolling. It's all the way one direction, and it won't stop. Well, I paralleled another capacitor here. Uh, like I had before, I just kind of stuck it down there. Where is it? You can see it right there. I just, that little disc and the vertical is as solid as it can get uh, 
No vibration. Institute. A Phoenix microbody contouring is a new, less invasive way to transform your body by gently removing unwanted fat from stubborn areas, using it to naturally enhance others. It all happens in a single visit without the downtime and risk of major surgery. My experience was great and the procedure was virtually painless. I wanted to do it for myself. Transform your body into a personal work of art. Call 1-888-98-SCULPT or visit athenixbody.com to learn more. Memorial Day sale going on now at Paul's TV and Appliances. Entertain in style with a huge 65-inch Sharp Smart TV with Aquamotion 240 refresh rate, only $7.99. Best deal in town. Plus get up to $1,500 back on select appliances. And we'll even come to your home to help you select the best system. Then get everything installed and configured. Paul's TV and Appliances, the king of home entertainment Memorial Day sale. The best service, selection, and prices. Paul's TV and Appliances, serving Southern California since 1964. Folks, here he is performing You Changed Me from his new album, Hollywood, a story of a dozen roses. Give it up for the talented Jamie Foxx. 1-800-762-2200. You have absolutely no risk or obligation. Call 1-800-762-2200. 1-800-762-2200. If anybody is looking for a home repair, home improvement... Gabriel, the guy who went bananas. <laughs> the maniac. The lunatic. I can just hear them now. Notice well, how there's no buzzing on Antenna TV, the old programming. No buzzing. Listen to it. Now I'll go to modern programming. Way driver calls the CHP the unbelievable mid pursuit rant on a California freeway. And we're celebrating Disney's 60th anniversary. Our Doug Culp will be live at the Diamond Celebration that everybody's been waiting for. That's mm -hmm. tonight at 6 o'clock. And finally this afternoon, an incredible and unusual sight captured on camera. And it's all thanks to Mother Nature. Take a look at this. This neon blue water off Australia's Tasmanian coast, this is the product of a process called bioluminescence. The light is given off by blooms of single-cell organisms. Now, wow. scientists are still studying how these tiny plants actually do this, but they say the bigger the blooms, the more likely they're going to light up. And light shows like this, more common than you think, really, most often off the coast of Australia, of course, but also the Caribbean. Not that. Murder, she wrote. I really have to concentrate on my writing in Cabot Cove. You know, I don't think I'll ever understand the finer points of football. You're not selling your stock. Oh, no, 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 no. I've arranged to put my stock in trust for Jill. Uh, I don't know what to say. How can we thank you? Well, there's no time for that, and I have to catch my plane. Now, you and your father are going to be partners. So will you write to me and tell me how he's doing? notice to doctors and patients concerning serious injuries caused by transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, and bladder sling. Because, baby, you on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Was it love at first sight, or should I walk by again? <laughs> Remains unchanged. On to drphil.com and share your thoughts on your pasta, spoon up some of your tomato sauce, painful. Foot angel is like compression on your foot, it keeps everything in place and the pain just... 
may be at a higher risk for serious bleeding or heart attack. If you are a loved one... Ah, get a firm, round, holy, haughty booty in just 60 days. Don't wait. Call the Berlion Group. You may be entitled to a signal. And when you really... After double verifying all my capacitors, I believe I found the the part causing the uh, vertical not to lock where it should. And this thing is super hard to get to. There's an 820K capacitor down here. This is on the back. And it is, let's see, where is it? When I say it's hard to get to, I mean it's hard to get to. It is right there. See, gray, ye red, yellow, and it's measuring about 6.8 megs. And I had to disconnect the wire going to it to check it. Okay, I've got an 820 in there. I've got the old one cut out. I verified the old 820 that uh, it was pretty much open. It was like 7 megs. That's a 1 meg. That's all I got. That should be close enough to 820K. Let's fire it up and see how it works. Okay, here's a moment of truth. I pulled that capacitor out that was in there that I had bridged across the 0015. Oh, right on. It locks right in the middle now. Can roll it down. Has your grill ever sounded like this? Can roll it up. Interlocking panels simply lay on top of any grill to form a new grilling surface. Juices are kept up to steam and sizzle back into the Great. Let's let it run for a minute and see how my grilling surface works. And in this show, it's on every item. PAD 204 is one of the beautiful new pieces, a debut first airing, and turn that crown upside down, ladies. That is amazing, this beautiful necklace. Is oh yeah, that's amazing, all right. Technically, she's loaning me the money. My responsibility is between me and her because it's her money. He fell some type of way, I saw his attitude, he put her on the bed, he said, well, Martha's in the living room, go speak to her and figure out how you guys are gonna, you know, uh, as far as the loan go, how are you gonna pay her back? I did, I approached Martha in the living room, I said, Martha, look, this is what happened with my deferral comp. I was okay, like, could you get to the point, did you take the money or didn't you? From neither one of their hands, from the bed. <laughs> he left it on so the bed. Did you pay the bed back? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> okay, so, so what is your defense? That I don't owe him no money. I yeah. spoke to Martha last week, and Martha said, Mama, don't worry about it. Take your time. Don't rush. And I have all that on text. Let me see, let me see the text. Sure. No me and her agree that she was going to mail me a money order, and I have an address where she's going to mail it to. Why, why didn't you just join in the lawsuit? I didn't want to get involved in this because I did not agree with him on the first place to give her the money. So okay, I didn't that make you make no sense at all. Okay, it's okay. okay? But no, no, don't go like that to her. Yeah. If you did, that's a reason to sue because here you are. You didn't even want to do it. I mean, I don't understand. Are you owed money? Because if you're owed money, then that, I, I don't understand how you're here. You're a witness, and you didn't just join in the lawsuit. I'm just confused. Oh, okay. I, I don't understand what you guys what? do. What you do in general. What's this about the camera? I don't understand yeah, why you guys talk the way you talk. No knowledge of it. And, and why you do do crap like put <laughs> tattoos on your neck. Hmm. The testimony continues. He kept harassing me. How? Um, he would text me about my car was going to get damaged. Wait, no. What, what was he mad at you about? What was, because, because I reported him to NYCHA housing. Like, Let's go back to that other thing. 
It's on my phone. This is what you show housing. Yes. Do you understand me? That's how you prove your case. I, you I get this printed out. You get this printed out. Herman, mm -hmm. as an emergency, can I give you rent money on Wednesday the fourth mm -hmm. to use the money to fix the ca car? I will give you twenty-five bucks as a late fee. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Answer. Sure. No problem. Okay, Your Honor. Okay, Your Honor. Okay, what? Your Honor, I did not accept any money from her. Your Honor, I pay my rent. Fascinating. Your Honor, I pay my rent. And I've been on time if with my rent. you're not charging with her, her, or her without rent. Her. Yes. You think for one second that you are a challenge to me? Because I have cross-examined murderers. Yes. You are nothing to me. And you know, how, you know how long it took me to figure out your number? Like, not long at all. It's just that this is the first time I see it in black and white like that. Okay. I know you were charging her rent. I'm just fascinated that it finally came up, and I'm even more fascinated by watching you do the Michael Jackson moonwalk to try to get out of it. 